all surgery involves some damage to nor normal tissue. You have to cut the normal skin, muscles, ligaments in order to get to the area of pathology that the surgeon wants to fix. What minimally invasive surgery does is it tries to minimize the amount of damage that occurs to normal tissue in the process of repairing the damage in the body. And it does this by one of two ways, either using a small incision or going more directly to the area of pathology. In the case of the lumbar spine, what we have typically done is we've made incisions on the back. We cut the muscle, strip the muscle, remove the lamina, which is the back half of the spinal cord. We find the nerves, we move those out of the way, all in order to get to the disc, which is actually closer to the front. A more logical technique would be to go from the side. This is an example of a patient on their side. And what we do is we use real-time fluoroscopic guidance to localize where the incision should be made. And then we make a very small incision and we take a tube and we go down directly to the area of pathology. And as we do that, we also use the spinal cord monitoring. And what spinal cord monitoring is, is for the first time ever, we have real live time feedback on how the nerves are doing. It maps out the nerves and it tells us the health of the nerves. Once we're certain that the tube is in the appropriate location, then we have the ability to expand that tube. And we can expand it big enough to take out a piece of disc. We can take out all the disc. We can even expand it big enough to take out the entire bone if, in fact, the patient has cancer or something like that. If we've removed the entire disc, then we can replace it with something like a plastic disc. If we need to, we can put in screws and plates and other devices if the patient needs to be stabilized. Now, this is an example of a patient that's had previous spinal surgery. Obviously, one option would be to make an incision and go through that old scar tissue. But that would be a very long surgical procedure. It would be a long, painful hospital stay and recovery. It is much better to make a small incision on the side, go directly to the area of pathology, and allow the patient to go home the same day. Thank you very much for your time.